Today, we'll be going through 10 steps to make your gaming experience better on Windows 11. By the way, subscribe if you are new for more such content. Go to the taskbar and click on this arrow here and you'll see many different apps that might be open on your PC. So close the ones that you don't really need like uTorrent, Steam and if you have other applications running, you can just go ahead and close them. With that, our first step is complete. Search for storage and go to storage settings and here you will see storage sense. By default, it might be off. So go ahead and turn it on and select this box to keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary files and app files. And in here, run storage sense. By default, it is set to run during low free disk, but you can set it to every week or every month according to your preferences, but I don't really need it. So I just keep it whenever the space is low. Delete files in the recycle bin. By default is 30 and I don't really mind it being 30. So yeah, just leave it. Or if you do not want anything in a recycle bin, you can just set it one day. And now this option, third one, that is delete files in my download folder. I don't want any of my downloads to be removed. So I just, but if you do not want older files that you do not open in your download folder to be deleted, you can just set it to one day or 14 days. Then just click run storage since now. So this helps you to free up space on your computer automatically. Completing our second step. Right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Then go to graphic settings. And in here you will see change default graphic settings. Click on that and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off by default. So go ahead and turn it on. You need to restart your PC after this. Then you can go back to your graphics option and browse. Select any game you want. Once selected, you can just scroll down to find the game. Once you have the game located, hit options and select high performance and save. And this completes our third step. Now go to the search bar and type power. You will see choose power plan. In here, choose ultimate performance. And just in case you do not have any of these, but just have power saving or balanced mode, you can check out this video right here on the screen to create your own ultimate power plan. Fourth step complete. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Open and park CPU. The download link will be in the description. Hit check status. In your case, these values will be parked by default, but I have done it already. So in my case, it is unparked. But just for the sake of the video, let me just click unpark all again. It can take some time, so be patient. And close it once it is done. No need to do it after every restart. And with that, the fifth step is complete. Now, right click this PC, go to properties, advanced system settings, and in here, click settings under performance. Let Windows choose what's best for the computer is selected. So make sure to select the third option that is adjust for best performance and apply. This completes the sixth step, but hold up. Don't close the window yet. Now go to advanced and in here you will see change under virtual memory. So click change and by default, this checkbox is selected. So make sure to uncheck this automatically manage paging file size and select the drive in which you have your games installed. For example, it is the drive D, right? So select custom size and then you need to change some values here. So let's put the initial size as 100 and for the maximum size, let's put it 8 GBs. So open up your calculator and 8 GBs should be 1024 into 8 because 1 GB is 1024 MBs. So yeah, so it is 8192. So put 8192 here. Click set, hit OK, apply and OK. And, and don't make it more than 8 GBs because it's just gonna eat up your disk space. So yeah. And seventh step is also complete. Go to settings. Go to gaming. And in here, go to game mode. And just in case, if the game mode is on, make sure to turn it off. And go back to gaming. And in here, game bar. If this is on, go ahead and turn this off because nobody used them. And with that, step eight is complete. Search for defrag and you will get defrag and optimized drives. If you have hard disks, you can go ahead and click optimize on each and every disk. And obviously go to change settings and set it to weekly. Just in case you have SSDs like I do right now and all three of them are SSDs, do not defrag it. This step is only for those who have hard disks, not the SSD. That completes a step nine. Other than updating your GPU, whether it's NVIDIA, Intel or AMD, 
never use this button right here to optimize your game. It makes the game even worse. If you want to optimize any particular game, watch my videos on that particular game optimization rather than trying this abomination because it just ruins the game. I have tried it myself a lot of times, but this is nah, not worth it. Don't do it. And with that, our step number 10 is also complete, which brings us to the end of our video. And I hope this video helps. If it does, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, also hit the bell and see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.